Hi guys, this is Caio Moreno. I'm a solution architect at Databricks and I have great news. As you can see, it's a Saturday and it's 3 a.m. and I can't sleep. And why? Because I'm just here playing with DeepSeek on Databricks. We just released this blog post, DeepSeek R1 on Databricks yesterday and I was following the steps and great job from Databricks and basically doing as we can see here I was able to deploy DeepSeek on my platform um, so basically the steps are very simple first install the, the libraries here then you have to download the DeepSeek R1 this still llama 8 billion I choose the 8 billion you can do with the 7 billion if you want and after I download it I register this on the unit catalog as you can see very simple and you can see my experiment it's here and this is uh, the model that I register you can see this is has my name is version one and everything so after you register the model what I've done I provision it so this is using Databricks infrastructure so I pass the parameters and after I've done that if now I go to serving and I filter by my model you see that I have this model here that is provisioned in this infrastructure okay so the version is one and what I've done I use the AI gateway as well to limit the query per minutes so let me do this again so you can see per user and also per endpoint and the reason is because I don't want people to use this a lot so I just want to use this for myself and now that you see my DeepSeek deploy on Databricks if I click use it directs me to the Databricks playground so let's ask a question what is DeepSeek and it answers you so this is the DeepSeek model that I downloaded and I deployed this on Databricks. If you want to do it yourself, I created a GitHub page and this is the address and there is the link for the blog and if you click here notebook example you just have to use my DBC file. I put also the HTML and also I put the file conversion. Okay so guys I hope you guys like it, have fun, and now I'm going to go to bed. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.